It's the second Saturday of the Pennsylvania rifle season. I'm out here with my 7mm Remington Magnum. I haven't killed a deer with this gun since 2011. I used some old guns already on opening day, so I thought I'd take this out for a walk. Killed 14 point with this back in 2000 and uh, let's see, that would have been 2005 <laughs> uh, was the last buck I ever killed with this rifle. I am using some Hornaday uh, 140 grain SST, so going to load up here and take a walk in the woods and see what we can find. Look at this. What are you doing? On, he you is, it's, it's noon on Saturday, the second Saturday, and he's going to take a nap. Why? Go oh, we always, try to we always walk take around for John answer. to shoot a doe. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> even want to take a nap in the deer stand. He just wants to stay camp. Only a doe. Only a doe. <laughs> yeah, only a doe. All right. Well, good luck this evening if you make it out. Thanks. I will be. All right. I gotta, I gotta get really Unless cool. you sleep until dark and then you wake up and you're like, oh. That'll be best case scenario. Then I'll head to the... Into the club. <laughs> okay. Alright. John Nugent. There's John. Gotta see if we can get some dough for, for John while I try to shoot a buck. And then if John shoots a doe, he's gonna go back up to his property and try to shoot a buck. Uh, he's got some nice bucks on camera up at his place. Alright, John's going in my stand. Walk out the road here. Got a couple dough bouncing out of here. I don't see any antlers on any of them. seen a lot of lot of dough already probably at least 10 three buck uh, one little tiny legal thing uh, I snuck up on that dough there was another yearling fawn with that dough and a little four point only halfway through the property and the deer are mostly bedded so well I just bumped a bunch of deer everyone must have been looking at this dead dough it's about time I find a dead deer I'm due A doe and none of the guys shot at a doe and I mean we're deep in the side in the middle of the property so that was definitely probably a, a gut shot deer um, and it just kept running and running but I guess if you found that up in north central PA you'd be pretty bummed out but I gotta be honest I'm not really bummed out around here because there's just way too many doe I'm not saying it's okay that uh, somebody didn't find their deer, but I'm not that worried about the deer herd because of a dead deer now. I've been dropping layers and I gotta be in a t-shirt. It is getting so warm and walking around, just can't do it. So, I'm gonna be dropping down to just a t-shirt. I don't think I've ever hunted deer, especially the second week in a t-shirt before, but that's the way it's going to go for now. I just heard a John Nugent rifle go off. Pretty sure. It was a Game Master, almost like a 30-06 pump action, I'm going to figure. Just heard the shot. Well, I couldn't find John and <laughs> heard him all and I walked past him. Let's go up here and see what he got. You were not kidding me. You, I sat down, I got all the windows open. Yeah. And sure enough, right at that. I was, I, as soon as I get that window open, I'm sitting down, I took my range finder, just checking things, just yeah. so I knew. Sure enough, right where you told me, boop, boop, there goes a big mom doe. I'm like, 
I got my gun up. As soon as I get my gun up, boop, boop, off she went. I'm like, yep. oh, I wasn't even going to bleed at that one. And sure enough, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes That's ago. That's a horse. Five, ten minutes ago. Really? I'm looking at it. Look, like, oh, that one doesn't look all that big. <laughs> Listen, I mean. Look like the biggest I'm not one saying group, that it's an say. old deer. It's not an old deer. It's a young deer. But the body is pretty good sized. There's just so much food this year. These deer putting on the fat. Well, I had a, I had my choice. Oh yeah, there I mean, was six or seven of them. They all. Oh no, kid! I just all of a sudden start saw spots of brown, and they all came out here and they were all walking straight at me, and I had to wait because huh. they were just walking straight towards the stand. Well, so that's all I'm weird. getting straight on shots. I'm, I couldn't see any nose lengths, uh, so I'm like, I have no idea how many. Uh, well, then they started to turn. And the baby ones are in the back, and they're starting to peel out. And I'm like, oh, those, all the ones in the back are all the small ones. Yeah. Uh, it was either two, two or three sets of mom deer with their with fawns. Nice. Because there was two others. Like I this. saw probably. I bet I saw. Fifteen deer, maybe more. Oh really? I saw a couple buck. They were all like four points, and stuff like that. Uh, they were all bedded down in different spots. I snuck up on some in the rocks up there. and um, But then I was up on top of the hill above Dad Shanny when you shot. But I was I was sweating. The further I got out, the less deer I saw. Well, and uh, I found one dead doe that somebody must have hit and couldn't find it. You found find a dead it. doe? Yeah, way out in the middle of the property. So it wasn't any of us that shot it. It must have came from a long ways away. But other than that, I thought... And all the deer were running away from you. I'm like, oh man, all the deer are running the wrong direction. And it, what could have happened was when I come up into the top of them pines, I probably bump some out of the top and they come drop, drop down over. They're basically gonna make a circle around me, but congrats. Thanks buddy, <laughs> appreciate it. Now this is how you get deer. <laughs> Drive right to them in a big off road. Now, that is how you do it. It's even better than the blue truck. <laughs> get rid of the blue trucks, I can buy this. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one that did it. We're gonna add that to the collection over there. The deer shanty. She fit. <laughs> yeah, just barely. I'll be honest though, you know what? If we left the tailgate up, you could put a second one in there. Yeah. <laughs> So now a whole side by side full of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot less deer. <laughs> <laughs> a whole side by side full of them is like two. I know. If that was a big buck. You just you, there wouldn't be. It yeah, wouldn't it'd be on just your be fit. one. You have legs and hand, antlers. Yeah, hey, hanging you'd up. still have a whole side by side that's full. That's why I have a strap. It just that's sounds good. It sounds good when you say I it mean, like that. Yeah. God forbid, John. We just strap one to the roof, because then we'll, you know. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Roof. There's all sorts of space. We could put them up on the rack. I could leave. I could have left the toolboxes back at the house. Put one up on the rack. Strap yeah. to the roof. To the hood one on the hood i mean there you go it's already scratched from riding in the woods <laughs> but yeah hey thanks a lot i appreciate yep. it no problem heck of a hunt yeah congrats it's been a blast all right well i'm gonna walk around a little bit more john's gonna head back go up to his property buck hunt for the evening and then uh i'm gonna just walk around sneak through a couple more places and then see if i get out through the through the week uh, on the second week so Just getting ready to tell you that I'm on the hunt. Right there's the camp. And look what I found. Right here beside the camp. Big old doe. And look at the nasty thick stuff she's hiding in. Those dead did falls from the section that we logged. And you know what? She's just gonna let me walk right by, guaranteed. So I'm not worrying about bumping her out. another deer look at it look at those deer laying in that thick stuff can't hardly see it look at its head being way down low 30 seconds into the hunt I saw two doe I'm actually gonna go up walk around this extra section that we had logged hopefully I can catch a buck laying in this stuff just like I did those doe that's the kind of buck I'd be like to see right there Alright, 
sneaking along this hillside. Caught a big doe. There is two of them. This is where people need to really learn how to deer hunt. What I'm doing here is I'm going the hard way. See those deer just right over the top in this hillside. I gotta walk along the side of this hill the whole way out and then pop up. And hopefully they're right out in front of me. So something I've done in the past, it's always worked, but it's not something that is easy. And you really gotta be nimble, be able to walk on the hillside. Because if I slip, uh, unless I catch a tree, I'm going probably go to the bottom. I was just getting ready. I snuck up on some deer. Just getting ready to zoom in. And uh, a buck it was right behind the trees over here. It looked like a legal buck. Um, but I don't think it was anything that I was wanting to shoot. Um, but I bumped them deer out ahead of me more than what I wanted. There's a whole bunch of them running. There's probably like five or six right there. But those deer just came from behind me. I just came from that direction so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty two deer I haven't been out for an hour it's crazy out a little bit. She keeps looking back. So there has to be deer up in the woods somewhere here. It gets pretty dark in these cloudy days. I bumped, I don't know, another half dozen deer laying in the shadows underneath them hemlocks in the bottom. <clears throat> but I did see one buck and it looked like a spike or something. So I don't know. There's got to be a big buck around here somewhere. <laughs> found a little shed that's a little one and it's old it's half all chewed up even the bases actually kind of looks like it's broken off but first no this is my last shed of 2023 then <laughs> I'm up here on top of the hill and saw one look like a little spike but I'm not sure it's pretty far out there and then a little doe walked up on me and like 20 yards right here beside me I just heard a shot down in the hollow but it doesn't seem like it scared anything up this way so if I get out again I'll catch you later three days left of the season my goal just keep walking around I don't got all day to hunt just a few hours each day just a few hours now and then so I'm trying to make the most of it the deer aren't moving I'm not even seeing the deer out in the fields um, lots of driving on that second Saturday really put those deer in a tight spot they're in this thick stuff now I'm going to try to sneak through, see if I can spot some deer. I don't really want to bump any deer, but uh, I'm just going to do what I did the other day and just hoping that those deer, them big bucks are just kind of moving around. I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. That's about all there is to it. Well, lucky, lucky here.
I back down and I'm gonna sneak around the other side and see how close I can get to that deer. There's at least one down there. If there's one, there's probably more. Let's just spot some more deer walking down there. I can see their legs. There's a deer behind that tree to the left. It hasn't moved yet. They already know I'm here. Look at those smart doe. That's ridiculous. Well, I'm busted. <laughs> Probably have seen all the paint marks on the trees uh, zooming out of that deer, but uh, we do plan to get the the property logged and that doe is just staring me down she's about oh, probably right at 100 yards right now she's eyeballing me doing the stomping well guess what I'm gonna scare you anyways because you're gonna go in the direction I'm not going there they go I just fell in the creek up almost to my halfway up to my knees so now my boots are completely soaked and I'm a long ways away from the truck so I'm gonna have wet feet the whole way back this is not fun spooking big bucks and getting wet feet on my head maybe a third of a mile I don't know but my hopes are these big bucks, this late in the season, they don't just keep running and running and running if they are in decent cover. What I noticed from last year and the previous years, even into flintlock season, those bucks don't want to expend energy unless they absolutely have to. They get away from the threat. I don't believe every deer saw me. So they're probably just gonna run so far, stop and assess the situation. See if they can smell me. Wind is not in my favor. They maybe would have kept going if they smelled me. But what I realize is those deer just keep bouncing to the next thick cover and they just hold up. And the problem is now they're on alert. I'm going to be next to impossible. It's going to be next to impossible for me to actually sneak up on them on the box. If they're in between where I was just at, I made a big half loop. So the only thing I can do 
is just to hope to look as far as I can through the brush and see if I can spot movement, antlers, something. And that just takes experience. Just like that deer that I saw through the brush at like 75 yards in the woods. Them big bucks were closer to me. But I think, I think those bucks were just bedded just enough that their eyes, just their eyes could barely see my head. And it was just enough. Now the wind could have went their way and bumped them. Because a lot of them didn't even know which way to run. Uh, and they didn't look that spooked. I thought they were actually going to just stop and watch look back but they didn't because there was deer running different directions so I'm up on top of the hill now I'm hoping they're on this ridge but there's no way I can sneak on the ridge I'm gonna stay out in the field and look down into the woods that's about all I can do well my plan worked 50% <laughs> the deer were where I thought they were the problem is they heard me coming because out here in this field it's not quiet either there's lots of leaves out here in the field from the trees on the edge and they busted me right as soon as I got to look down in the woods. Now, it sounded like I only saw one deer. I couldn't tell if it was a buck or not, but that's right where all the other deer would have been. So I'm assuming those bucks were all together, just down below. So I'm gonna backtrack, do this all over again, but in reverse. It's a shooter. zero shots. There's no way I could put a bullet through that thick brush. I literally walked right where he was standing no more than a half hour ago. He uh, vanished on me. He's like a ghost. 
I watched him walk out along that hillside, but he was coming right on the edge of that high wall. He could have dropped down over and went over on this side. But it's fun playing cat and mouse with big mature bucks. The only thing is, I didn't know exactly how big that buck was because I could only see half and it only looked like one point the brow tines were phenomenal but I needed to see that other side which was his better side and I don't think I would have been able to poke a hole through that thick brush um, where I was standing if I would have tried to move I don't think I, he would have been there very long. He would have just bolted. So I think that's just something that uh, you just get used to. Seeing those big bucks, you don't got much time. But that's how they stay big. They stay big because they don't move much. He stayed within 100 yards, and I'm not joking. I walked almost almost completely around him and he stayed right inside the woods i bump him he ran maybe 50 yards i come around the other side bump him back down he ran maybe 100 yards but he stayed within that 100 yard circle from where i originally bumped those bucks and i think that was the big one that I, I saw um, with with those other bucks, but he veered off by himself. Um, man, if I would have had a shot, I'd be pulling the trigger. But it just, by the looks of those antlers, I didn't, it, maybe it's just because it's been such a long time and I'm so used to passing up bucks. Like I'm very, very picky now, but I don't, I don't want to blame me, my pickiness on the reason why I didn't shoot that buck. I just didn't have a shot. I know it looks like, but I have a camera that has very good, um, I don't know what you call it, focus. So I could focus through the thickest, nastiest stuff. And, but man, to know that that's out there, hunting all season, running around in circles through this property, and finally he shows up and gives you that split second chance. And, uh, I don't even know if he did give me a chance. He gave me a chance to see him in person. But uh, it's getting dark. Um, I'm gonna be losing daylight fast. I'm a mile from the truck. So I gotta go back where he was headed. So maybe I'll run into him again. I don't know, but that was fun. I don't think you guys understand the lengths I'm going through to make a video like this. What I'm putting my body through, uh, my feet are killing me because I'm walking halfway on vertical 45, if not almost near vertical stuff holding on to trees i have a camera on a tripod and a rifle i'm slinging it over my back it's getting caught on stuff going through nasty brush just running and walking the whole way around making very long what the average hunter would go i'm not doing that for a deer well you do that type of stuff and you understand what the deer do be one step ahead of the deer and you can see bucks like that unfortunately for me I just happen to spot them when there's too much brush. But the videos, I wish I could be able to show you and teach you what I'm doing on the property uh, because it just looks like I'm just walking through the woods looking for deer, but I'm not. There's a strategy to get involved here. And uh, I'm using the same strategy each day and I'm just hoping one of these days that big buck, he might be on a mile away. I'm just doing the same thing each time. And hopefully when them big bucks come through, are there when I'm doing my strategy and that's what happened today unfortunately it didn't make a connection with the rifle uh, but uh, there's still two more days left I don't know if I'm gonna get out so if not I'll see you guys later all right so I want to talk a little bit more about this uh, buck uh, what you guys don't realize is I'm looking through a little tiny LCD screen like this big Right, and I can look up there through the brush and I can't actually see his antlers. I never got to see his antlers with my own eyes. I just saw a body and I'm using that little LCD screen and the focus of my camera to see the antlers. So what you guys are seeing on the video is a hundred times 
bigger and and more quality than what I'm actually seeing with my little LCD screen in the woods. Um, and yeah, originally I said it was a big buck, but then I started second guessing myself because uh, you know, his points were all in a line. I couldn't see how big they were. I couldn't tell because there was other branches. I mean, I thought I saw a drop time on him, but I wasn't sure because like I said, I'm videotaping through multiple layers of just brush and branches from trees. And I actually did pull my gun up with the camera there to try to find a spot to put a bullet through. And I couldn't. Um, from my angle, when I stepped back to try to find an open spot, there was a big uh, grapevine, and it went right through basically his whole body. Uh, and my camera was almost dead, and um, I figured he was just going to turn around and run away. I didn't think he was actually going to step out the way that he did. Um, and that's just part of the camera aspect of it. Uh, so when you see that, you're like, I would have tried to put a bullet in there somehow no because you know I was already catching up to him slowly and I don't want to scare him that bad uh, so that's just part of the whole um, aspect of what you saw compared to what I'm actually doing in the woods the last thing I want to mention is I believe that was the buck that my dad hit last year if you look at the way the points were sort of bladed when you slow it down uh, it almost has almost the exact same thing. And we had no other buck that would be that big this year other than that buck that my dad hit last year. Who knows where he was hit, I don't know. It also looks like in the video, that buck had like a little bulge on its eye, maybe from fighting, maybe he got a bruise uh, on like on his cheek or on the side of his head. But uh, it's hard to say what that is. But uh, hey, uh, if I can get out in flintlock season, hopefully we'll find him. The season has ended. Now, I don't know if he actually made it through um, <laughs> because when I saw him, there was only two days left of the season. Uh, but if he made it through, hopefully we can find his sheds. If not, you know, hopefully we see him next year. But we still got flintlock season, but I don't know how much time I'll get out. But uh, he's out there for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something about uh, hunting big bucks in the big woods. And uh, we'll catch you next deer season.